Let's go. Um, Dr. Dre mm. and the, his daughter, man. Um, so quick rundown in case you don't know the story. Basically, I posted a video on it, but I definitely wanted to bring this as a discussion for the pod. So um, the story broke out that um, Dr. Dre's daughter, who apparently they say is estranged from Dr. Dre, that after like a few months or so forth, I believe she has like four kids and she's currently, she's currently homeless and living outside of her car. So people just said, whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Uh, is this Beats by Dre, Dr. Dre? Is this the chronic Dr. Dre? Is this the guy who is still getting checks off of Eminem's albums and so forth? And is this the guy who is behind one of the biggest selling musical artists of all time? And so is this the guy who is one of the very few music billionaires in there? How is a guy that's a billionaire allowing his daughter to be homeless? So that is what, first of all, I was like, whoa, that's crazy. That's mad. Like, because I'm in two minds. So let me just tell you my first mind. My first mind is, mm -hmm. no matter what my child does, whether we argue, whether we are having arguments, whether they completely disrespect me, at the very least, especially if I'm in a billionaire, at the very least, you've got a roof over, over your head. At the very least. Yeah. I'll give you like a basic rundown apartment and so forth, but at the very least, even if we hate each other, we're not talking to each other, at the very least, there is a roof over your, your head. So that was my initial thing. You know, that was my initial thing. But then we go deeper. We have to go deeper here. Um, we don't know everything. You see, Red, mm -hmm. when people view stuff, they get very reactionary. Like, oh my gosh. Oh, no. Daughter, homeless, of a billionaire? No, that's not And, and also... When you add to it, you now look at Dr. Dre's history, where he obviously beat up a female reporter back in the end of it. So people are like, oh, put one woman together. This, this, this looks bad. But here's my thing, though, is that we don't know everything. And I said, there's a, there's, there's a such a thing called tough love. See, I am shooting Dr. Dre bail. So I don't know that this is true, but let's just say, because I'm like, I like to look at there, there are three sides to every story, you know, even four. So what if? This may not be true, but what if it's a case of where Dr. Dre and Thingy, they have fallen out mm. and she has been very disrespectful to him and so forth. And she just assumes that she's always going to help him, even if she disrespects him. And Dr. Dre, you know what? I'm going to now um, give you tough love. So you're now going to now have to fend for yourself without my soft support. And after a few months, you, ha you have to humble yourself and apologize. So that's where I'm sort of out there where it's maybe a thing of like, no, this is because for me, I believe in parenting and tough love. And I do believe that if you give a child everything, you will, you will spoil them. And if you indulge a child, especially when, you're, when a child knows that you're rich, they're going to indulge you. Because I have known and been to school with rich kids who completely use and abuse the kind of power and influence so, so sorry sorry the, the, the funds that their parents has so what if it is a case that this is tough love that okay we don't know the whole story but this is a case of where like is like i am going to now force you to fend for yourself see what it's like to suffer see what it's like to not have the safety nets of your rich billionaire father and now let's see what you could do but that's just me that's just me should seeing him bail so that's where I am. But for in your mind, what say you? Are you like, uh, this is bad? Or do you think that there's maybe more that we don't know? No, no. I, honestly, I think it's... Uh, I, I, I don't blame Dr. Dre at all. I think he has nothing to do with this. Um, let me tell you this, HH. Um, one thing that you forgot to mention, his daughter's 38 years old. She's, she's grown. Like, HH, I... No, no, oh, okay, okay, read it. Very quick, sorry. If, let's say, you're 60... Mm -hmm. And you're a billionaire, and you know that your 38 year old daughter is living outside of their thingy, and you know you're a billionaire. Will you still sleep well at night? Yes, I'll tell you why, HH. Do you know, do you want to know how much she's living out of her car? Remember, mm. do you want to know how much her car payments are a month? She's paying $2,300. Wait, wait, no, I'm, let me just fact check that one sec, one sec, one sec, one sec. She's, uh, as a result, Young has been living out of her rented SUV while her four children stay with friends. It's an SUV that costs 2300 US dollars for three weeks. And I only paid for one week. Sooner or later, they're going to take the, so she's paying $2,300 for a car, man. Like $2,300 for a car, like $2,300 is more than enough for rent. It's more than enough to get a, a cheap car and you can get a job. 
right? When you're 38 years old, even if your dad is the richest man on the planet, and if you've disrespected him, you've gone your separate ways, you've said pretty much that, you know what? I am capable of doing this on my own. I don't need your help, right? Right? So if, you, if when, you, when you make that decision and you go on your own and you, and, you, and you go with these poor expenses and you're having kids and all that stuff, where, where, where are the kids' fathers? Where are the kids' fathers? Where, 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 what, what, you've, made, like, you've made these life decisions. Why aren't you, couldn't, like, think about it. Do you think anybody would have sympathy for me and you if you were in the same situation? Your dad's not a billion or anything. It doesn't matter because that is irrelevant in this situation, how much money he has. It's, for me, it is. See, it is. Because, because, no, no, no. Because my thing is, here's the thing. I get what you're saying, but this is my belief. And mm -hmm. this is why I've always been very wary about whenever, let's say, I'm, you know, let's say I am sexually involved with everyone, with, with, with any girl I'm, I'm, I'm always placed very safe. Because I know that the moment <clears throat> a child comes into the world, that's my responsibility. Mm -hmm. So I know that, bro, I don't want to now get into any, any situation because once that child comes to the world, I, See, as a is, man, it is my financial, it, it is my duty to basically say what's up and be able to okay. protect them. Now, it's, here's the thing. Like, I, I agree with you because, like, I, I'm raised in an Arab culture. And anybody who knows, like, Arab culture, Middle Eastern culture, uh, our parents take care of us until we get married. And then we take care of them until, God forbid, they pass. Right. So we, we, we like, uh, in, in, in we like, uh, the respect is always there. You always respect your parents mm. and it's a two way street. Right. Like I said, they take care of you until you're married. You take care of them until they pass. Like it's, yeah. it's, it's both ways. And you always have to respect your parents. Your parents respect you. Like, for example, okay, parents aren't allowed to hit their children on their face or anything like that. Anywhere to disrespect them to throw them from their morale. Now, how do we know that she didn't disrespect him? It's just, you have to remember, like, this girl grew up with every luxury imaginable. Like, mm. everything. Like, there's no schools she had, like, like money she was getting. Like, by love, Dr. Dre was forced to provide them with money. Even if you're saying he's a bad person, mm. he did provide for her at least until she was 18 years old, which is more than any of us here in the chat can really hope yeah, or yeah, dream yeah, of, yeah. right? So she had all that. You look at her. She has three kids, all from three different fathers, right? She has no job. She has no work experience. She has nothing to show for, it. and she's thirty-eight. She's forty. She's forty. Like if I were, if, like H H, if, if if I were to right now, I, I I'm I'm twenty-seven. If I were to right now save ten dollars a day, but now I'm thirty-eight, I won't need any help. I'll always have I'll have a security fund to at least have shelter. How can you not have the ability to rent out a small apartment, rent out something? Do you want to know why H H? Because she's bougie. She can rent something cheap and something poor, but she doesn't want to. She wants to still live in luxury. She she thinks that she her dad owes her. But she doesn't want to respect her. She wants to, doesn't want to come into to grips with it. Of course, we don't know the, 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 the ins and outs of it. We don't know what actually happened between the two. But from my speculation, it's very hard for a parent to really disown their child. So for him to disown her, she must have done something where she disrespected him, where she didn't go, went against him, where he felt like, you know, I don't want to co-sign these decisions. But, 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 but can I just push back on you? Because you said that. And your, your point is fair. How can a 38-year-old be have in this situation. It's true. Crazy. No education. I mean, I no education. All right. Let me let me let me go for D on you. Let me go for D on you. Mm. Shouldn't the parents take some responsibility? Shouldn't, Absolutely. Shouldn't the fact that you've allowed your 38 year old child to not be able to be independently able to fend for themselves or so forth, and they're in this situation, isn't that somewhat your responsibility as a parent? Isn't that somehow your feeling as a parent? And if it is your feeling as a parent, don't you hold some responsibility? And I see, you know, see, 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 my thing is we don't know all the details because it could mm. be a case of where, no, Dozre has been an amazing parent. He's done everything, but she's just a bad child. And a bad child is a, is a, is a bad child because they're, they're children who are just probably children who will never learn. And they, will, they can only learn that, the hard way where you've done everything you can, but the only way that they're going to learn is trial by fire. Let them suffer and that's how they will. Tough love. I sure. fully believe in tough love. But on the flip side is, what if it's a case of where you've been a bad parent and this is a result of your bad parenting? So here's the thing. No family, no, no, no parents know their child. No, none. There are zero parents that know their child. Zero. And I'll tell you why. My, I have the best parents in the world. My mom and dad were there for me since the jump. Like never abandoned me. They gave me every luxury. Like they, they helped me with in school. They sure that I finished uh, high school. They got me up to the point where I can get into college on my own. Uh, my parents, I would never say at any moment in time, uh, gave me anything lesser than my my my, my contemporaries or my 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 colleagues or uh, my fellow students. They always made sure that I was properly provided for. 
But at the same time, I never really listened to my parents. My parents didn't want me to drink. I was out drinking with my friends. My parents didn't want me to smoke weed. I was, I was smoking with my friends. My parents didn't want me dating girls. I was dating girls. My friends didn't want me to hang out with certain friends. I hang out with certain friends. A child, a, a human being is always responsible for their own actions. A parent will be there for guidance. They did teach you right from wrong and all that stuff. But at the end of the day, I am my own person. And especially when you get to the point of she, she turned 18. She became a full adult 20 years ago. She became a full adult in the year 2000. In sync. And Backstreet Boys were the biggest bands on the planet during that period. That's how long ago this was, HH. And and I I just don't see how. Okay, maybe he they, they spoiled her. Maybe he wasn't present in her life. But like when you're 25, 26, I mean, after years of partying, I, at one point you're gonna be like, well, maybe I should make something out of this. I'm pretty sure you know you guys don't even know. Maybe he's helped her time and time and time and time again. But now she's 40. Like now she's 40. Like, at what point do you stop? At what point do you go, like, you know what? Maybe I should find stability. Why hasn't why hasn't she married and found a man? Why? Like, honestly, like, think about it. Like, why, like, why, why don't we have these conversations? Like, she's 38 years old. She mm-hmm. has three children. She she comes from a good family. She lives in one of the most privileged areas in the world, and like in, in, in LA. Um, she it's like, then you have to the very fact that you have all these things. It has to go to parenting. No question because, the character. She's a, she's not a child. She's a, she's a no no she's no no. A, no. But my thing is no, for my twenty thing years. That, how do you have come from such stock mm. where you have money upon money and such a massive safety net, and you now end up in a situation where you have okay, rich or not rich? It's very simple for somebody who's even like a rich child to have. Um, um, children with several d- d- different people, like Nick Cannon has like um, four or five different wives. So that, that, that's yeah. fair. How is it a situation where you come from such stock and such fortune and such wealth that you've ended up this way? That's my thing. So, one hundred percent, a man is a man, a woman is a woman, a human being is, is a human being, and once you're an adult, you're an adult. But from zero to eighteen, that's Parents has a responsibility of I've given you the best parenting and the best foundation. Once you're 18, you're on your own. But Which I have done if my he, did or he didn't. Which we don't yeah. know if he did or he right. didn't. We don't know. Hence, hence why it's the discussion. Hence why once we now receive this news, we have to look at it in several different ways because Twitter have already been judge and jury of Dre because you um, and handled a female r- r- reporter years ago. You are the devil. You are now guilty because you hate women and so forth. But that's Twitter. They don't think. They are very reactionary. So um, the, the whole beat about this guy is that we don't judge. We look at things in several different ways. Because I'm just saying that it's red. We can't ignore that. This is It's pretty wild. <laughs> that's mm. the daughter of Dr. Dre, one of the wealthiest people on the planet, is homeless. Yeah, see, that's see, sounds, because, because because red. Let's red. Let's keep it real. Let's be real, right, mm-hmm. right now. Do you believe the daughter or son of Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk, or Bill Gates would be in this situation? I don't want to go there. I, mean, I, I, I don't want to go there, but I'm I've, just putting it out there. I'm putting it out there. I'll, I'm be putting honest it you. out there. I'll be honest with you. I have. I've been watching a lot of. Uh, uh, GS uh, GCS videos. Uh, it's a crime uh, YouTube channel, and uh, they talk about they show you like inter- interrogation rooms of uh, like murders and stuff like that. And a lot of there's a lot of them where uh, there is like this. They want the, this, there was a case for the for this woman called Casey Anthony who murdered her own child, right? And uh, essentially, she grew up very privileged under like she's 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 uh, what's that what's that word that they use uh, affluenza. She's a victim mm. of affluenza where her parents, you know, give her, uh, gave her everything. And she was a, like a, 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 a very compulsive liar and all that stuff. And eventually, like, even before she was found guilty, her parents, like, kind of had that film. But, like, they completely threw on her bus. They cut her off. You see a lot of these stories where these kids get, like, cut off. It's, it, it does happen. Like, for me personally, what I th- well, my speculation is from looking at, like, the entire picture. Like, I, I'm a – okay, let me, let me disclose this, by the way. I'm a huge Dr. Dre fan. Like – Dr. Dre, every piece of work he's ever released, every artist he's ever worked with, mm-hmm. I'm a huge fan. From John Connor, uh, Joel Ortiz, he's worked with Rakim, Eminem, uh, NWA, uh, Snoop Dogg, Crooked Eye. Mm-hmm. Like he's like he's he's insane. Compton from 2015, his last album, Compton, mm-hmm. classic for me. 
I literally played that CD until it's unplayable. I have it in my car. It's in rotation and, until like now it lags every like his beat, his productions. Love him. Man, is he, is now, he red? No, no, red. But when you just list all these things, man. Hmm. No, but CCHH, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. No, no, no. Again, I'm not, I'm not done because I'm not, I'm not trying to defend him here. But what I'm trying to say is HH is like, look, if he raised, if let's say he did the bare minimum in, in his childhood by giving child support to her mother who was raising her, right? Just right then and there, HH, he did enough. Not the best, but he did enough to make sure because he gave, made sure that his daughter has food, water, shelter, and she's going to school. That's it. Like in that scenario, you gave the bare minimum. Now, I get it. Your father's a billionaire. Nobody in his family should be struggling. But if you have a child who literally is 38 years old, has no job, no education, no stable relationship, nothing really, uh, what's it called? Nothing really of substance. Like at all, nothing at all. And then on top of that, doesn't even own a, doesn't even own a car. She's renting a car. And the car rent is 2300 Right. At what point do you would you want to hold that person accountable? They've been adults for twenty years. Now I get it. He's he, he has the money. He could easily just solve our problems, right? But isn't it like, what if? How do we know that he didn't support her up until she was like 35, 36? And then at one point he was like, you know what? I can't do this anymore. I keep supporting you, and you keep making bad decisions. And my money that I'm giving you is leading you to getting more, like getting pregnant, partying, doing drugs, doing all this stuff. Because HH, money isn't good. Giving somebody money, if somebody comes and just gives you money and spoils you, there's something where you, where you exactly, you can spoil a, a child rotten. At, like, I would have, if she was, let's say, 25, I would, I would, I honestly, I wouldn't, I would sympathize with her. Like, come mm. on, man. Like, it's very easy for, for a young, like, young adult to, to get swayed and make bad decisions. But she's 38. Like, by the time mm. you hit 30, like, like, I like what you're, you're no no you're basically once he hits 30 like you're, that's you're you, should, you, should, you should have that ability. you should have that like we all have that feeling especially when you reach your late 20s for the guys that are younger here you you saw and felt it when you reach your late 20s wait wait, wait 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 how old are you I'm 27 I'm 27 it's, but it's, like, it's, again I don't want to reveal my age but trust mm -hmm. me once you hit that three zero it's this it's a switch it's just, because, I, because 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 you think you know what trust you once he mm -hmm. that three zero once you just say you're now 30 it's different. It's a switch. It's different yeah. because when when there's that two, you can just say, "Yeah, well, I'm mm -hmm. well, I am." Once you just say, "I'm thirty," because for yeah. me, because for me, once I told you, I can't, I won't reveal my age, but once I hit thirty, it I it just psychologically makes us like, "Oh, damn!" Like I'm no longer twenty three, and suddenly I didn't know that. No, oh, no, no, things have to change, and once. Yeah. Was that it? I started to make serious life changes. Oh no, I have to do this. I've got to do this. I've got to be focused. I've got to be a lot more thing than that, you know. So and, and here's, here's here's what happened to me. Here's how my wake up moment was: is uh, when 2020 happened, the turn of the year happened. Like a lot of people were posting videos of uh, or pictures of me 10 years ago in 2010 and me in 2020 and their growth and stuff like that. And that for me, I was like, I was only 25 or 26 at the time, and I was like, man. Like I need, I want, I want to have more to show for in life. Like I don't really, I'm not very content with where I'm at. I want to mm. do more. I want to like, I immediately right then and there, I started looking into it. I'm, I'm like, I'm in the process of buying a house now. And, and the, over the course of two years, just by putting my head on right and be like, no, I'm not happy where I'm at right now. I want to do better in life. I want to grow. So I started working more on myself, focusing more on myself, focusing on my health and my fitness, focusing, uh, I, I kicked bad habits that I had literally friends like my friends right now like uh they see me once probably every probably once every couple of weeks or three weeks like i have different friend groups so mm -hmm. like, i may hang out with one friend group this week and another friend group this week the reason for that is just to pull back so you don't have any emotional dependence on anybody you can every, everything's self-sufficient you can focus on yourself and mm -hmm. i feel like i needed that and like that comes with 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 age now for her how come she never got that? How come she never had that sense of pride in herself where she was like, you know what? I want to have my own thing. That, you know what? My dad's giving me this money or I'm getting this money in or I'm getting this kind of club because I'm Dr. Dre's daughter. Maybe I should use this money and maybe open up just a store, open up a restaurant, open up see, a, a see, Red, you can't do that. Anything. Red, no, 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 no. Red, you can't, do you know why you can't do that? We don't know the dynamics of the family and how she was brought up. You see... We can do it. We can both think like that mm. because we've been brought up a certain way. Because yeah. we've been brought up a certain way, and because we've been, our parents have operated with us a certain way, we can think like that of, oh no, I have to be independent. But how do we know that she's been spoiled? If you're spoiled, what chance do you have? If you've been spoiled, 
How do you even have the capacity to be like, oh no, oh, my own thing? No. If since you have three, four, five, six, seven, you got stuff, 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 stuff. Unless you are superhuman, how can you be like, oh whoa, what the heck? But you see, red back to the original thing. Mm. Because how we started was people who are reactionary. And even I felt a victim of this. So once I first saw the story, I was like, hey, how is Dr. Dre a billionaire and your daughter is homeless? Then I said, wait a minute, have hope, relax, think, think, pause, think. And then this, because this, 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 this is the issue. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. They raised 200K for her? Is that, is mm -hmm. that true? Did they, they, 200K? Wait, it's, did they actually raise, her, uh, raise money for her? Oh, see, see, it is, this this makes my blood boil. This makes mm. it, there are people that are starving, that are struggling. There are single mothers out there that are, are, are have no outlet, have no way out, have no way out, and they just raise two hundred k for the daughter of a billionaire, a woman that had every luxury in life, everything. Everything. You see, yeah, it's to say I've got to be real. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't like that. You see, oh, because God. do you know why? She knows that she can use. Because there are a lot of women who hate Dr. Dre ever since he did what he did. So there are lots of women, especially black women, who will be like, oh, we're going to help you and support you. Whatever. And see, again, already, this goes back to our original point. And the original point is, you oh, don't okay. know. Oh, it's not, for, it's not for Dre's daughter. Never mind. If it's not for Dre, okay, fine. That's, I'm not okay, mad. Okay, I'm okay, mad. good. Oh, yeah, because if, it was for her, if, because if it was for her, if they raised 200K just for her, like, I don't know. It's just for me. I just I, I like. Oh, no, no. But, to, but see, to, to see somebody that's that privileged to get like a million second chances, and then you have other women or, or other single mothers who are actually don't have anybody. They have no support mm. system at all. And once they go wrong, once their kids end up in jail, they they end up in. No, 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 the original point is it goes back to the thing of people being reactionary. Is like you see people. You see, we say in Nigeria, to no. And basically, when what I mean to know means that you think that you pretty much know everything. You think that you just know everything. You too know, you too know, to know, to know. So, mm. okay, you've seen the story. Do you know what the dynamics of the father daughter relationship is? Do you know whether, as we said, he's tried to help her? Do you know whether she has totally disrespected him? Do you know whether she said to her, you know what? I don't need your help. Go away. I don't want, I don't want you to support me on anything. I hate you. I want to go away. How do we know that that hasn't happened? You see, if you don't know the full story, you can't make a full assessment because parenting is complicated. Parenting is complicated because I told you, it could be a situation where he's like, I am going to help you, but for this few months, you're going to suffer. And by you suffering, this is parenting because this is now tough love. And once you now, once this situation humbles you, and you now see how difficult it is to now be by, by yourself and so forth, then you will now come back home by yourself and it will make you a better person by struggling. Mm -hmm. So who knows? But people, they don't even want to give give that a, a chance or even a thought. No, no. And, and, and somebody in the comments already said it. It's, it's look, people nowadays, especially on Twitter and uh, t Twitter, especially Twitter, is a specific platform. Where oh, I feel like screw Twitter, man. It, it's, 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 Twitter, basically, you know what? Twitter is full of victims. insecure people. Mm -hmm. who were never heard in school. They were probably bullied in, in school. And this is a way of how they can have their voices because if these people, the Twitter mob, were, were out in the open, nobody would care about you. You wouldn't have a voice. We could, like, we could, we could easily ignore you. But it's, because it's, it's, you now mount together as a mob and you now lead a movement and so forth, you're now much more powerful than you could could have ever be in 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 in, in reality. So, agents, if me and you, if, if any of one of these uh, podcasts end up hitting the timeline one day, me and you are finished. We're oh, <laughs> we're screw, them, <laughs> screw them, man, <laughs> screw them, screw them. Okay, okay <laughs> wait, let's let's read. So, so your boy, I just read. Thank, thank you for the dub, bro. He says last Monday, CNN re reported on a woman who owes nineteen hundred dollars rent and is being evicted. She's raised two hundred thousand on go or on GoFundMe since and has yet to close its thoughts see now look at this right like greed greed is a motherfucker right now this woman yes she's, she's behind her rent honestly i'm not gonna lie i love these kind of stories i love when somebody that that, that has nothing that ends up like the human kindness ends up coming by and just helping them and giving them like this one thousand dollars now has set this family for life and, and 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 to be honest with you like i don't mind when when the when 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 regular people when the poor people get any kind of win 
I'm always happy for it, even though it might come off as greedy or or, or might come off as like she hasn't closed it. But, but red, that, that, no, no. Everything you're saying was beautiful, but is that thing of has yet to close it? Mm -hmm. So in her mind, she's like, oh, uh, jackpot. <laughs> Honestly, yeah, that's, that's so, what I'm saying. Like, so, so rather than, oh, boom, thank you for helping me, for helping me get back up. And you see, I don't blame her. I don't blame her because it's sort of it goes back to the whole thing of EA Sports and how they turned FIFA into gambling. Yep, it's no, are. no, 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 red people like you who I expect better of you. You're the you're the people that I that I blame for allowing EA to, to treat you like, like that. So I, for quit, me, that I, I quit two years ago. Yeah, but I was still pants if you. Grab I was a sucker. I was a sucker. Yeah, I was <laughs> I was getting licked, man. I was I put I put I put their, I put their kids through school. Yeah, I, I, I put their kids. Yeah, I, I, I feel immense shame. No, no, no. But, 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 yeah. so it's, but it's like my thing is, I can't blame her because it's like if someone is giving me money, who am I to reject it? Yeah, <laughs> who am I? To, so every remember, especially in COVID, everybody is suffering. Everybody in the world is suffering. That's why people every single day they play the lottery. My gosh, please, please let me win. So if you've managed to have a situation where people are just giving you money. Who am I to now say, oh no, sorry, I have enough money? No. Obviously, the whole thing is thank you for helping me and so forth. And now let me now get back on my whole thing. But you see, it goes back to if you can play on people's emotions, boom, you're good. And that's the thing. If you can tell a really great story that can really play into the emotions and the personalities of people, you're great. Dr. Dre's daughter could very easily, very easily create a situation and tell a narrative and she can easily oh, get everything paid off. Oh, no, no. People I'm Dr. Dre's daughter. <laughs> this is a billionaire who, who doesn't care about me. Bro, who doesn't care about so many, I'm so like, the racists, the, the racists will, will support her. People who hate women who hate Dr. Dre will support her. Uh, just, just people who just want to support like feminism or women, just anything. Well, like he, she can easily paint the narrative. Like she already did. She already, she like, and this is another thing, by the way, like, First of all, you're so, so, so her, her goal was, was to... But, but, but see, I, 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 how can you blame her? Yeah, you can't. You why, can't, you can't. But see, if you've told her what her thing is, and why do you keep... She's not to blame. Like, I mean, if like, I was in that position, unless I'm the angel Gabriel, why am I, why am I going to close it? And you're giving me free money. And Adash, don't worry. Like, don't worry. Like, just like what we're thinking, like, like how you're thinking, people will start to believe that too. You know the saying from the Dark Knight, you either die a hero... Or live mm. long enough to, sell, uh, to become the villain. So what's going to happen with her? Like, yes, at the beginning she was a hero, and people wanted to help her. But you're right; if it does go on for too long, people are going to start being like, "Well, you're kind of being greedy at this point. Like, you should cash out. You should know when to cash out." Like, she she got the help she needed. She got everything she needed. Now pull out. Get out of the. Get out of there. And I do. I like. I do see it. Like how it could be greedy. But like to be honest with, with you, I could see from her POV like she's probably been through it like it's, it's for a lot of people and, and especially in, in in america or like in uh not only just america like in most world countries really they, they're struggling like the the, mm -hmm. the the lower classes the middle class has been decimated people it's very hard for people to get out from the lower class to 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 get out like it, like even for a guy like me for example like i came from i came from syria during the beginning of the civil war i was a canadian citizen so i didn't get any benefits of being a refugee or anything like that i came mm -hmm. in as a regular citizen and i had no help whatsoever like I just had to, I rented out a room by myself, got a job, was going to high school while I was working, and then got into college. And I was working at a restaurant. Even then, they were working me to death, and they were even stealing the tips. They wouldn't even give us the tips that we would get. Like life is hard, man. Like life is not easy. And like, like I said, like maybe I might not get that kind of handout. I maybe I might not get that kind of help. But to see somebody else get out of there, man, it's mm. it's good. Why, like? I'm not going to hate on, on somebody that's poor that just got, because $200,000, to be honest with you, is not a lot of money.